welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Panthers and the Commanders, all that and more, coming up next on EA Sports. Samuel. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 
45. We are second and two. Throwing now is Wentz. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Derek Brown, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. That's a ball he needs to let go of there. Wasn't the most time in the world to work through his progression, but NFL quarterbacks, they've got to sense the pressure. They've got that internal clock, and the ball has to be gone. And if you're not going to escape and run for it, you have to let it go before the pressure gets to you and puts you on the ground. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. And he finds the corner. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all set and done. Back 
who's in a world of his own. I mean, come on, man. Yes, about... <laughs> What's he trying to do? Catch it with his face mask? <laughs> come on, you. Blunders, glitches, stitches, and bitches. What WTF is going on with this guy? Who is number 82, Bobby J? You want me to look? Yes, I want you to look. Because this guy is... is just... unexcusable. He's unexcusable. Number 82. He's just unexcusable. Number 82. Number 82, 82, 82, unexcusable, Logan Thomas, what is his problem, you know what, put it like this, yes, that, that's it, if he's going to behave, if he's going to act like that, then forget it, put him on the bench, and let him just sit there, and think about it. Second and short. I think they thought the cover was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. On second and ten, Wentz got across the field. He finds Jackson. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 and the 24. Wentz and Jackson, your connection there for the Commander first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there. It's DJ Henderson. 
of breaking it off. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for Panther touchdown. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. Well, there's only one thing to do is put the quarterback and the tight end together on the bench. And let them both talk about sending Heineke.
This <laughs> what happened? Did somebody Is there a poltergeist? Is there a ghost? A demon? <laughs> How embarrassing. Number 36 has a poltergeist. <laughs> At least he should teach his poltergeist how to play football. Maybe he'll, he'll let double team the Panthers. Grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're reaching two hands on the ball here as it kicks away following that fumble return. This one taken just inside the 10. Now a hit and a loose football. Uh, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And he takes it into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery and a touchdown for the Panthers. Boy, still in the first quarter. And look out. I mean, they are on pace for over eight points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there in CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Right now, 
on the ground, first and ten. And they really need to get something going, didn't they? They have punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them. Provide a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. He has 
The football has sentimental value and he doesn't want to give it away. Oh, my gosh, man. The Washington Commanders in this game, I've seen them in other games and they serve up a, a great performance. But here, they got the B team. They basically have... I don't know what they have. They got players who are just sitting on the bench and the starters missed the bus. They didn't get on the bus. They drank too much and they partied too much and they had too many women and uh, the B team are here.
14 now. They work on first and 10. They'll run out of the And they'll go backwards here. Losing yardage to the 14. They'll lose a yard there. It's second and 11. Byron's definitely not been there for him here in the first half. But I don't think it's all going to be this far. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Almost felt like on that first run, 
they're trying to just throw the jab out of Try to stop the jab, get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last ball. From the 45 on second down, Corral, and his throw is going to be incomplete. That was pretty safe to say when you had three touchdowns. The last thing you want to do is hang right up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. You got a nice lead, you should be able to protect it. If you get careless with the football, look out. The Panthers on third down and converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. That's caught in Shai Smith. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it.
the offensive teammates and give the quarterback right now off a little bit of encouragement because it's done is done. Let's get a next time out. Now comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. These guys definitely looking for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the ball is available at least two first downs. Because even if you have to count then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they're all scrimmed together. Nice job. They helped themselves out. Adjustments. If you try to wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll throw on first down. Here's how. Open and Erickson. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Now that's the kind of big play you want to see. The first half, they have to come their way. They can use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. So front Panther territory now. It's first and ten down at the 33. On first down, now. He finds his man, complete. It's Erickson. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A nice gain of 21 yards. That's the third time on this drive that these two connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. Down at the 12, it's first and 10. First down, how the throw. Got his tight end, that's complete. It's Bates. Down to the six yard line. A pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. Second and four, they can still get a first down without scoring. Here's Al. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Reyes. The result only four yards there on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. But Charles, you know, for this offense, we take a look at the draft class here. They were looking for a playmaker and they found one on the outside. And the way teams are throwing the football nowadays, you can't afford to skip the wide. And that is Turn over the plate on the last one. Try to shake. 